everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my workwear capsule wardrobe. Workwear is one of the most highly requested topics over on my Instagram, so I'm super excited to be bringing you my take on a workwear capsule wardrobe. Before becoming a full-time content creator, I worked as a management consultant for six years. So based on my many years of working in an office and a client site, I have picked out timeless pieces that are versatile and act as the foundation for a great workwear wardrobe. I'll be sharing different ways to style each item within the capsule workwear wardrobe with over 20 outfits included within the video and I'll link each item in the description box below. I know all too well that finding an outfit for work can sometimes be a tiresome and difficult task but I'm going to show you how sticking to core timeless pieces you can create lots of outfits and also by having a neutral colour palette because all of the items fit seamlessly together and are easy to mix and match meaning there's less thought at the beginning of the day or the night before to decide what to wear. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first item is a white shirt. It's a workwear staple as it's so multitasking. It's chic and it's a classic. This shirt from River Island has a slightly oversized fit, which I find to be more comfortable and more versatile as you can tuck it in or drape it over your waistline. I've paired it here with a pair of black wide leg trousers and a belt to cinch in at the waist and break up the outfit. This also would look great with a skirt. Here I have a black pleated skirt on from Mango. Another classic is this blue striped shirt. This one is new in from Zara. They do the same style every year and it can be worn throughout the seasons. It looks professional while also brightening up an outfit and adding some color. Here I have styled it with wide leg cream trousers to complement the stripes. This is a super chic and classic outfit combination. For a slightly more casual look, I've paired it with a white t-shirt and opened up the shirt as an additional layer, which looks cool and slightly more laid back. Paired with the black tailored trousers, this is still a smart casual workwear outfit that works for the office. Then we have the heavyweight t-shirt. This is from Arquette and the quality is incredible. The heavyweight material gives the t-shirt more structure and a boxy fit. It's not see-through, which is important for workwear and feels more luxe than a regular white t-shirt. Plus, it works as a perfect base layer for your outfits. I've paired it here with a neutral beige blazer, a fail-safe outfit combination of wide leg trousers, a white tee, and a structured blazer. You cannot go wrong with a round neck knit. This one is from Arquette. Arquette is one of my go-to places for elevated basics. This knit is perfect for layering in the colder seasons and grey fits well with the neutral colour palette. This knit is alpaca blend so it's extremely cosy. I've had this for two years and I still reach for it regularly. You can layer it over a shirt as I have done here or alternatively you can layer it on top of a trench coat. In the UK it's often very chilly and so a knit is an essential in your workwear wardrobe. Black trousers form the base of many of my work outfits. They are smart and they are formal and on those days when you're unsure what to wear, black trousers are a great starting point. These ones are from River Island and I'm wearing the petite size. They're great if you're under five foot three. You can wear them more casually if your workplace allows for it. Here I've teamed it with white trainers and a cropped boucle jacket. Cream trousers are a gorgeous piece to have in your collection. Cream goes with all of the neutral tones and these are the silk crack trousers from Lily Silk. Another way to style them is this tonal outfit with a white vest and a neutral beige blazer. The tones complement each other so well. This look is fresh and tonal outfits are a great way to look chic and sophisticated in the office. Beige tailored trousers 
These are again from Arquette. I really love the quality of Arquette pieces. These are detailed with front pleats and a high waist and a tailored style perfect for workwear. The beige gives some variety to the cream and black trousers that have already been featured and here's two different ways to style them. If your office allows for it, you could switch out the tailored trousers for a pair of straight leg blue jeans. I would pair this with a blazer or a shirt just so that you can still keep some formal elements to the outfit since we have the jeans which are more casual. This pair are from River Island and they are honestly the best fitting blue jeans I have had in a long time. They have them in a regular short and long length, which is ideal and I've gone for the short length here. Next is a pleated skirt. A satin skirt would also work well. The pleats for me add more interest and works well for a corporate office, but also smart casual. This skirt is new in from Mango. I adore the satin effect detail halfway down. This would work in the summer, but also in the winter with tights or boots for extra warmth. It doesn't get more classic and timeless than a trench coat. This one is from And Other Stories. I love the cuffed buckle detail and the large lapel collar with the button shoulder tabs. I feel it elevates the trench and makes it look more luxe and polished. A trench coat is such a versatile piece and it's practical for the office. They are smart and formal. And this trench coat, which is slightly longer, works so well with tailored trousers, but equally would look lovely with a longer skirt. I would recommend investing in a good quality trench coat as I feel it's a really practical piece that you can wear with so many different outfit combinations and it's a useful piece throughout the seasons. It wouldn't be a capsule wardrobe without a complete suit. The black blazer goes perfectly with the black tailored trousers but it's also a go-to piece for layering. You could also wear with jeans or leather trousers if you have a more casual dress code. For me, a black blazer is an essential in a workwear wardrobe. If you work in a more corporate environment, a black suit or a matching suit of any kind is a great outfit to have in your back pocket for those days when you're unsure of what to wear or if you have a client meeting that you want to look your best for and you will automatically look smart and professional. A beige neutral blazer is also a great option. This is the wool hop sack blazer from Arquette, which is one of their well-known pieces. It has a slightly oversized yet still structured fit, and this is made of premium wool. If you're looking to revamp your blazer collection, I recommend this style, and there's multiple ways to wear, as you can see styled here. Boucle jackets are really having a moment right now and they are trending. They are however still a classic piece. This jacket is giving a Chanel-esque feel, it's chic and it's the perfect piece to jazz up a workwear outfit. Then we have a cardigan. This one is new in mango. A cardigan is a great layering piece. You can wear it over a vest or a shirt or tucked into high waist trousers for a slimmer silhouette. Additionally, it works well for working from home outfits. An absolute essential is a black belt with gold hardware. I've been wearing this one from Mango throughout the whole video and I really like that it's slightly thinner. It's so easy to work in with so many outfits. It cinches you in at the waist and it's such a useful piece to have in your workwear wardrobe. 
Then we have a large black bag. This is a bag which has structure to it. It also has enough space to carry your laptop if you're someone that needs to bring your laptop from home into the office. And ideally it would have zips as well if you're commuting on the train or via public transport to make sure everything is secure. And if you don't need to bring a laptop to work, then a structured handbag with lots of space will be a perfect option for you. This one is from Cofoon. I love the structure and the shape of this bag. It's also great that it has a lock. As you can see here, there is lots of space for a wallet, for even a water bottle, some makeup. I have used this bag so much just because for a handbag, you can fit so much inside. Moving on to shoes, sling back heels with a low heel to me are absolutely essential in a workwear wardrobe. They're so easy to wear, but they also look chic, smart and sophisticated. I particularly like the sling back heels with a pointed toe. This is because it elongates the legs and again, they look super polished. I have a cream and a black pair and I think this is sufficient to make sure you have variety to go with a range of outfits. Loafers are a classic workwear shoe. They instantly make an outfit look smart and professional. A suit is a great way to style them and they're also practical if you're commuting since they're flat. These ones are from H&M and I've had them for a couple of years now and I still wear them all the time. Black heeled ankle boots are a shoe that I would wear in the office but also outside of the office for casual wear. Being petite and being five foot three, I like wearing a little heel every now and then because it gives me a little bit of extra height. But I also think they look super professional, they look really chic, and they're usually more comfortable than heels. So they're a great option when you're in the office. If you have a smart casual dress code, then white trainers will probably be fine to wear in your office. They are practical, they are comfortable. If you're commuting, they are such an ideal shoe to be wearing. If you are going to wear a trainer, I would recommend pairing it with more tailored items just so that you can keep an element of smart and professional to your outfit when you're wearing the more casual trainers. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video useful. I'm planning to do more workwear styling videos, so this is the first one of the series. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I am new to YouTube, so it will really help my channel. If you'd like to see more styling reels, day-to-day, -day, um, date night, spring capsule, wardrobe, styling, then head over to my Instagram. I post on there daily. I'll pop the handle up here and I will see you next week with another video.